Hello, welcome to my very first vlog and um, Bree's done a million of these. But I'm Tess and I am the editor of Success Undressed and I'm a bit nervous because this is my first ever vlog. But I'm learning from the best in the business. Bree, introduce yourself. Hi. <laughs> we only met today, so we're going to play a little game of get to know you and we thought we'd include you guys in so that you can know a little bit more about us as well. Okay, let's do this. This is going to be like fun. Okay. <laughs> So our first question is, describe yourself in three words. A communicator, positive, and I would say a doer. I like to just say th say what I want to do and do it. Okay, your turn, Bri. Um, I'm going to go bubbly. Yeah. Like bubbles, yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> and then um, I'm going to go eccentric. I yeah. Like that word, eccentric. Yeah. And um, I love sparkles. So I'm going to go sparkles. God, you're really, you're like an energy drink <laughs> wrapped up in a little body of yours. <laughs> okay, next question is, are you a cat or a dog person? Do you have a cat? I have two cats, but I wish I had seven. I'm sorry, I'm not a cat person. I am slightly allergic to cats. Dogs all the way. What is your best joke? Okay, I'm really, really bad at telling jokes. Like a bear, or is it a panda? It's a panda. You told panda. me this joke. <laughs> it's a panda. <laughs> A panda walks into a bar and he walks up to the barman and he goes, Can I please have a beer? And then the bartender goes, Oh, what's with the big paws? And he goes, I have four of them. Oh my god. That's like a dad <laughs> joke to the max. My joke is equally as bad. Why did the Mexican push his wife off a cliff? I feel like tequila! <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. Like tequila? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I like that joke. Thank you. Thanks, Three. What is your most embarrassing story? I was in Thailand and I was like climbing on an elephant <laughs> and then I don't know As what you do. happened. Yeah. Um, but my sister managed to have the camera out and she captured me mid falling off an elephant with like my leg like Ooh. Can you put a photo in on this? So I did look and see. Okay, she's gonna put yeah. a photo in, so right now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my embarrassing story sums me up as a child pretty well. I was like in year six or year seven and I was um, dancing on one of those wooden tables that you have at school where they've got like the bench seats and then the bench table and it's all conjoined. And I was like dancing like this, being a show off and the bench snapped. I don't know whether maybe I had eaten a bit too much lunch that day or my dancing was too vigorous, but um, <laughs> I went straight through. Um, everyone thought it was hilarious and I was mortified. <laughs> I mean, that's happened to heaps of people. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> celebrity crush. Ooh. We've all got one. <laughs> Mine is just like a general um, celebrity crush on old British actors, males. So like, Alan <laughs> <laughs> Bill Nye, um, the guy who played Voldemort in Harry Potter. <gasps> really weird. Yeah, it's as in Voldemort with the... the without the, the makeup. I mean, who... Ralph Fick? He who should not be named. Yeah. 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 Um, what about you? For those of you who know me, this won't come as a surprise, but mine's definitely Dr. Patrick Reed from Offspring. Um, sometimes I like to think I'm Nina and that he's like real and you know, it's a bit embarrassing, but I try to dress like her. I've lived near her house in a show. Yeah, I know. Probably shouldn't admit some of those things, but um, big Offspring fan. Yeah. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live and why? Again, I feel like this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, God. How could it be that embarrassing? <laughs> okay, well, if anyone's seen the movie Tarzan, um, the Disney cartoon version, yeah. um, Tarzan's parents built this tree house in the forest. <laughs> uh, and then afterwards, they get mauled by like a tiger, which is not cool. But no. the, <laughs> the actual tree house, I love the concept of a tree house okay. in the forest. What about you? Um, I'm pretty happy living in Melbourne at the moment. I do miss Adelaide, but I, I love Melbourne. I think if I could live anywhere, I'd love to have a little farm and like just outside of Melbourne or near the beach and grow my own veggies and be a bit of a hippie. That's or really cool, I like that. Go the complete 180 and go somewhere like really busy in Asia or live in like Hong Kong or Tokyo or something, but not forever, just like two or three years. I think that would be really fun. Are you ready for it? I am. Truly. If you were a DJ, what would be your DJ name? Probably be like DJ Princess Sparkle Glitter. <laughs> I feel like I'd be like a Paris Hilton, but I love black. Okay. Yeah, so a bit so of a glittery like black. Like a diamond black kind of. Okay. Paris Hilton, so I'd be like. Mine would definitely be DJ Wangatang. 
don't think that needs an explanation. Just, that's me, DJ Wangatang. <laughs> I like that. You probably probably moved. Moved. <laughs> We're going to end with a pretty basic question, but what is your favourite movie quote? Captain, let's send her to sea and stretch her legs. And it's when the Titanic's departing from the dock. Let's send her to sea <laughs> and stretch her legs. Yeah. <laughs> because I always found it weird that he's talking about the Titanic boat and saying oh, stretch her legs. Oh, because he's referring to the boat as a lady. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a big movie person, to be honest. I don't think I've got the attention span to last <laughs> that long. Um, but I am a big fan of Zoolander back in the day. Um, and I love it when... Um, Ben Stiller's character gets the um, the um, model for the school for people who can't read good and do other stuff good or something like it's called something stupid like that and he gets it in a model and he's so dumb and he's like what is this a school for ants <laughs> like I don't know <laughs> it's just funny to me thanks for being part of success undressed we love having you around um, make sure you subscribe to the channel leave any comments um, only positive ones, please. No, if you've got any feedback, we'd love it. And um, if you want us to vlog about anything in particular, just shoot me an email, Facebook me, or comment below. We'd both love to know what you want to hear about. Yeah. And I hope you got to know us a little bit better, <laughs> as ridiculous as it was. Yeah. And jump on successundress.com.au to check out all the other stuff we've got going on.